Hey guys, what's up? This is Twisted. So, I didn't want to leave you hanging because we didn't get Elegon down last night, but I didn't, like, we, I did find out that all of the strategies that I'd been working on were actually highly effective. Um, the reason we didn't get Elegon down wasn't because we had low healing per second, it was because our DPS checks weren't matching, and ultimately that means we just didn't have the correct, like, rate awareness and coordination for those DPS checks. Uh, that's more or less what's going to break this encounter for you. It isn't so much like healing per second unless you're undergeared. Uh, so here's the tricks I was using for Discipline. If you've been healing since Wrath, you should be familiar with this, but if not, here's a refresher course and here's uh, hopefully some new information for you guys. Rapture returns mana. We all know it's 150% of your spirit, and it happens when a bubble procs. What they did in Cataclysm is they made it so that the bubble pops only once, and it only returns one Rapture for the one bubble, because they didn't want Disco Priest just spam shielding the raid uh, for every AoE mechanic that was predictable, and then getting a huge chunk of mana back. Now, in the world of Mana Matters in this new expansion, and the way that it's scaling from spirit instead of intellect, it's not going to scale as wildly out of control, so I believe they intended for this to be um, to function this way, but here's here's what's up. If something predictable is going to go out and it pops your bubbles, it's back in again that if you get multiple bubbles on lots of different raiders and that predictable damage pops all of the bubbles at the same time, you get rapture from each bubble popped at that same time. So, like, look in this little demonstration here. My normal bubble, I'm naked right now. It pops and does... Um, 333 mana back. If I get both bubbles that are popped at the same time, I'm using a priest mass to spell to make sure they pop at the same time, I get 666 mana back. So what I'm doing on Elegon then, in a practical term, is right before we have one of those big total annihilations going out, I'm getting out all of these bubbles on raiders, and although you can watch my mana pool, my mana pool, like look at my mana bar here really closely, it tanks, but once the bubbles all pop at the same time after a total annihilation, it gives back mana. Now, um, you can time this with other sweet burst healing effects too, because look also in this video, um, Look in the upper left, I'm a spec to Twist of Fate, and then I sync that up with Archangel. Look, I do a Holy Fire right before something dies, and then um, that's a huge like increase of burst healing that you can use on top of the already 50% healing multiplier from standing inside that um, little circle. And I get a huge surge in burst healing uh, to get the health that I didn't actually fully absorb uh, back up again. It's very easy to pull. I mean, easily I was pulling 60k healing per second just from this trick alone, and we didn't get a whole lot of attempts in phase 3, that which would even push my uh, meter cheesing even more. So Disciplined Priests are more than viable on this encounter. Uh, this trick is... Obviously, in my opinion, what they intended for discipline, because on this encounter specifically, there's a healing modifier that uh, gives you like an increase, like 50% healing received. That doesn't count for absorbs, so it's not like absorbs are going to break this encounter because they're not getting that extra healing modifier that other healing classes get. So um, you just have to play it smart. But uh, something else about this new this rapture trick is. If you have lower spirit, you get that rapture back from the spirit. If your spirit exceeds the threshold of the cost of a power word shield, power word shield costs 18,300 mana in inner fire, and it costs 15,555 mana in inner will, which means that if you have any spirit that is exceeding 12,200 or 10,370, that means you're going to actually be returning mana from these rapture procs. So if you have a trinket, that has a proc or an on-use spirit, or if you use this with tailoring cloaks, and you can manage to sync all of that up, you can essentially reset your mana bar. Look at my mana here. What this means in practical terms for this encounter is, since you're pretty much resetting your mana bar on every total annihilation, you'll have tons of mana to just throw around, but you will actually save more mana because it's, in my opinion, the best healing per second to be doing smite and atonement heals during the phases in between total annihilations to keep tanks up because you also benefit from the 50% increased healing and damage modifier by standing in the field. Hopefully these tricks will help you out. Um, remember that with this trick, if you do screw up your rapture timing and one of the bubbles pops early, you're going to be out a ton of mana, but practice makes perfect and good luck out there, guys.